Hey, what's up? Uh, Operation iDroid here, and you guys asked for it, so here it is. Pokemon X and Y GBA ROM hack on your GBA for iOS or GBA for iOS 2.0. Now, basically, this is a ROM hack that has Pokemon from the new Generation 6, which are the Pokemon that were revealed in Pokemon X and Y, the new Nintendo 3DS Pokemon game. So, if you want to learn how to get this, stick around. All right, so first of all, you're going to need GBA for iOS, and I'm going to be showing you how to get this. If you already have it, then skip ahead to where it says on screen or follow the timestamp in the description. Anyways, you're going to have to go on to the iEmulators website run by myself and the starters. You're going to scroll down here, and as you can see, the instructions are here if you're not listening to this video, but clearly you are. So no need to read those instructions. You're going to scroll down to GBA for iOS. Click on it and then you'll see a lot of information on the actual application like who made it and how you can give credit to the person that actually made it because it wasn't us. Anyways, you can either click on download or watch a video tutorial which is actually a link to a video I've made prior to this one which is pretty cool. But anyways, go ahead and click on download. But before we do that, we're going to go into our settings because as this instruction said, you have to set your time back to before June 15th, 2013. And now you can find the date and time by going into settings, general, date and time, turn off set automatically, and then scroll back to the date I said, which is past June 15th. Anyways, once you do this, you can go ahead and go back into Safari, and you can go ahead and install the application. Now the reason you have to do this is because Apple is not a fan of emulators on their devices and they make you, they try to stop us from doing this but of course we have found a workaround. And they tried doing this on June 15th, 2013 and that's why you have to set your date back before then to allow this application to work. So as you can see now it will install like any other app and you shouldn't have anything here. I have Pokemon Light Platinum because I've shown how to get that in prior videos but now you can go ahead and set your time, your date and time back because you're not going to stay in the wrong date and time the whole time. So you can just go ahead on and turn set automatically. But remember to open GBA for iOS once before you set your date back to automatically. Anyways, now I can show you how to get the GBA Pokemon X and Y ROM hack. So just go into Safari, copy the link that is in the description and paste it into the URL. The reason it isn't on, on the description and don't follow the one that I have here is because sometimes the link may change and you can be watching this a couple of months after this video was posted. Anyways, when you get here, you're just going to go ahead and click on download. As you will see, the URL will change for like one second, then go back to what it was, which is mediafire.com. And at the top, next to your Wi Fi or carrier, you'll see a loading scrolling thing. But, anyways, when it is done, you'll have a screen like this. You can click on Open In. Then you can choose to open it in GBA for iOS. Or if you're watching this in the future and have GBA for iOS 2.0, then go ahead and open it in the application you have. So once you click on GBA for iOS or the application you have, you will see Pokemon X and Y is now here. And it is running smoothly. This game is still in beta. And it has a lot of improvement to go. But at the moment, it's still a very fun game to play. If you haven't been playing Pokemon X and Y and you're still able to enjoy the new Pokemon that have been introduced like the three starters and many other Pokemon that are in this game. So I really hope you guys enjoy this video. I hope you enjoy playing this game. Thanks for watching. Again, I really hope you enjoyed this video. But as I always say, playing a GBA ROM hack is always fun with a friend. So make sure that you like this video and share it with one of your friends because when you're both playing a GBA ROM hack, you can find that the experience is so much more enjoyable and I have done this various times. But anyways, if you're interested in more GBA ROM hacks, I have two other tutorials that I have done on ROM hacks that you can get on GBA for iOS like Pokemon Light Platinum and Pokemon Ash Grey. So if you're interested in any of them, then go ahead and click on them or follow the link in the description as well as I encourage you to subscribe. I will continue to do awesome tutorials on ROM hacks like this one and the ones you see on your screen 
as well as I cover GBA for iOS 2.0 which will be coming out very soon. So if you want to be the first to know when that comes out, then I definitely recommend you subscribe. And follow me on Twitter for the latest news in anything. I always ask the people on Twitter what they want to see, when should I release a video, and all that good stuff. As well as don't forget to comment if you have anything to ask me, you can either comment. But the best way to contact me is on Twitter because I'm on there a lot. Thank you for subscribing and I will see you in the next video.